Welcome back. Now, in between the parts, I've been a little busy. And I'm assuming there's going to be more scenes around other than this one. Because it's very much a case of, like, that's the only other green exclamation I could find other than the ticket ones and the elevator. Like, this, it's, it's the only other one. So I'm assuming if I go to that, it's then going to make another one appear somewhere else. Because... I've got all the way through, I think, yeah, like you could just see how far I've got. It's like, we did this floor, yeah, because the scene was there, at the top, and then I went on and did uh, all, all these other floors, then all these other floors, then all these other floors, and this floor doesn't have a train. I can't, I can't move on. And it has a very familiar place. When we look at the apartment here. I hid the curios there. It's like... That's that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Methinks that's where we're going to end up going eventually. So what we need to do is get these events sorted. Get these events sorted. So we need to head down from here. So let's go to... Cartier Vita, 18th floor, and then head down. I've done a li little tiny bit of leveling up as well, because there was a few wicked boss fights around. Again, not nothing too interesting. Let's make sure we fog veil so we don't get spotted by the the hard one there. Oh, you can see a chain of three in front of me. Um, t um, ah, no. Time for a fair fight. Time for a fair fight, apparently. Been escaping a lot. Um, let's see here. Let's do Fantasy Fog Tail. I've got a few new facets going around. As a result of my exploration. Not got much there yet. Obviously. And let's see here. Mudfling. Get to your stations. Still need some better facets. But we do have more kitties. Which is something. I should show that. I should show that, really. Is that something else I sorted in between the parts? As you can see, kitties. 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 Meow. Um, let's take that. 17k. Because we are actually on... Gentle world once again. I was very much like, why is the XP so low from that? Like, oh, yeah, because we're back on gentle world brigade formation. As you can see here, this is what we've got going on now. Fortune pack needs to be leveled up. And the blank one, it's 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 very much. Uh, where is it available? Donum. I should maybe apply stuff. I really should maybe look at getting some other books. Do I have any good books actually thinking about it on the blank one? Let's have a look here. Enhance attack three. Um, nothing major, really. I, sh I should look into that. I should look into that. Oh damn it! I'll break down the doors of destiny. Mia, yeah, try, try maybe get that sorted so we got more stuff on that one. It is like, yeah, there's not much going on here. I can increase the drop chance, may as well. I may, may, may as well, may as well. Into your stations. Back to the soil. So easy on easy. Oh, look at that, like, not even really doing anything. Just destroying them? Ah, oh, well. It's fun to destroy things after some very, very difficult fights for me. Now's our chance to Mainly because every time I got to a wicked fight, I kind of forgot that I was on hard every time. Let's go through the wall so we can try and avoid as much as we can. Let's get out of there quickly because that thing was kind of following me. Kind of. Right, so we want to go down from here. Announcement rings from the speakers. Ding, act, detect, travel next. Affirm to travel to the next fix. We, we know how this works. 
Right, so was that the right way? That was. So... Right, we want to go up here. Also, you may have seen, like, there was the hard guy there. It, there's one that just teleports around. Like crazy. Sometimes you can just go forward and it appears. Um, let's avoid you. Let's go through the wall. Fog fail. A thunderous sound echoes through the quiet forest. What? What was that? There was quite the commotion just now. An area around has become a sea of blood. A nude woman has collapsed in the middle. Still, as a corpse. I'm assuming you're from the, um... Chapel, cathedral, that we were told not to go to. Because of the paint on his, uh, shirt there. What? A woman? She... She's stunning. Um... I, is she dead? Cradle. D dead... Dead person question mark. Huh? She... She's still breathing. <sighs> yep, that, that was... That was that, apparently. Okay. Where next? Yes, you can see, like, there's an event there now. Um, quickest way to get there, to be honest, is go back. I mean, look, it appeared in there. Just weird. Very, very weird. Right, announcement. Let's go back up. Oh, I've got to go back all the way. Like, who, do, who decided to put the yellow walls there? Just watching it. Okay. Yeah, this place. No, it's different from what I pictured. I must remain faithful to my heart's vision. Okay. And again, there's a wardrobe in here. The man senses the woman behind him. Ah, you've awoken. The doctor said you were alright, so I went back to work. Was I making too much noise? Uh. The woman is wearing nothing but bandages. You took care of me? Oh, uh, yes. But I, I'm not responsible for your current attire. It appears as though you've saved my life. I am Cecilia. Who might you be? Cecilia, huh? I'm Bisto Maldur. Bisto Maldur. Ah, Bisto. As you can probably tell, well, maybe you can't. I'm a washed up artist. What is this painting? Will you be selling it? Art isn't merely a product to be sold. The world is full of people whose studios churn out pieces, but that's not who I am. Uh huh? But then, how is it that you make ends meet? Well, uh, ideally, I'd like people who actually like my art to purchase my works, but... Ah, uh, I just remembered. There's something I want to give you. Bisto pulls out a wooden hand from the drawer. Let me know if it doesn't fit. I'll adjust it for you. Is this prosthetic? For me? Damn it, damn it, damn it all! No, no, no! He stops short of slashing the canvas with a knife, painting over it in white instead. A fine work, my arse! There's no point in calling it that! If only someone appreciated my art! I could do it! If only I had a chance! <sighs> Am I? Right, next. So, where are we looking? Down here, so... Same again, we want to go to the next floor. Right, there we go. Chip, I made these holes, isn't it? Right, let's go. Next floor. Is there gonna be one on every floor? Oh, you're in front of me. So you can see it's up there. So, best we're getting there is to actually go through the middle. So, alright. 
No, we're not Balin. I thought I had things that could replace people. Oh no, Balin, no. Oh, you took that substitute. All right, fine. Fine. We'll get him back. Hey, Mom. Can I ask you something? Naturo's mother stops washing up and heads over to Naturo after drying her hands. What's the matter, Rue? Why don't I have a dad? What? A dad? Yeah. Everyone else has one. Erina, Donna, everyone. R right. He's not here right now. He's very far away. But you do have a father, too. Hmm. Suspicious. I do? Really, Mom? That's right. And you also have a grandfather. You know I love you to bits, too, don't you? Yeah, I know. I love you, too, Mom. Huh? What's this? Naturo swallows something black that fell from the sky. It looks like a piece of candy. Yeah. Yuck. Bro, what did you just swallow? Don't tell me. You didn't eat this, did you? Huh? Yeah, I did. Spit it out right now. Out! Oh, oh no. Come here. Mr. Pumpleton! Mr. Pumpleton! W what's the matter? You look as if you've seen a ghost, Miss Colbert. It's Naturo! She ate a fragment of ash! Oh, please! Call for a doctor! She, she did what now? That isn't good at all! But it's nighttime! I don't know if anyone will come! Uh-oh. I'll bring some water over. You must rinse your mouth right away! Huh? Uh, okay. All right, mate. All right, we got the idea. Come on, Rue. Rinse out your mouth. Hurry. We're going to the doctor. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so that would explain how she ended up being ill then. Let's just see if we can go to the hideout and see if we can get Balin back. Uh, yes. I had no one at the hideout. Fine. Right, where are we going next? Oh, uh, here. So, next floor it is. Still not got that. Wait, do I not have this key yet? Ugh. See on the map, the thing just appeared behind me. Um. I mean, I can just use this, to be honest. Let's go. Rather than risk wandering around elsewhere. Get away! Right, so where are we looking here? Over there, okay. Go away. It's just so treacherous, like that, it's right in front of me again. Right, okay, we got Fog Bale for 23 steps, that's fine. There we go. Yes. Yes, exactly like that. If you chisel that part right there... Cecenia strikes the chisel, splitting the sculpture in two. Whoa. Oh, dear. No oh dear, oh, dear. Oh, that's a shame. It's hard to figure out the amount of force you need. It's only natural, seeing as in you've never done it before. I see now that I lack the skills. This is rather... Difficult. How many times have I done this now? Listen, Cecilia. Art is about giving shape to your thoughts and feelings. The indescribable subtleties of your very heart and soul. That's why sometimes you need to chisel through parts you know might end in disaster. 
Failure is part of everyday life, after all. The subtleties of the heart. So what I'm doing is manifesting a part of me? It, yeah, that's one way to put it. You might even say there are no right or wrong answers. Simply let your mind run free. The only thing skills help you with is more accurately reproducing your vision. Here, allow me. Bisto's hand makes contact with Cecilia's chest. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Seeing Bisto react like a young man brings a smile to Cecilia's face. By the way, I heard someone's moved into the manor. The manor? Do you mean the old rotunda nearby? Hmm? Ah, oh, that's right. Hmm? Isn't your atelier part of the same property? While the church is part of the garden, the lands are massive. Considering how far we are, it should be fine. Excuse me? Did you set up an atelier on someone else's estate without permission? Well... You could say that. But it's so quiet, and the air here is so fresh, it does wonders for the imagination. I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind. It's all in the name of art, after all. You're assuming way too much. <laughs> You've quite the personality, Visto. Ah, uh, Visto. Say, Cecilia, what are your plans for the future? When I found you, you were collapsed in the forest, covered in blood, and you called yourself a witch. There must be a story behind all that. Do you still not remember anything? Unfortunately, I don't. I see. Well... For me, it's still that question of which world are you actually from? It appears I may have overstayed my welcome. I hesitated to say anything since you hadn't brought it up, but... If you insist, I shall leave today. Please accept my apologies. I didn't intend to infringe on someone's goodwill. N no that's not what I meant at all. I... Here. Please accept my latest creation. Bisto holds out a handmade ring. Oh. I couldn't put my feelings into words. It's the subtlety of my heart, given form. This is... simple and... crude. And that is a bit rude. But I feel a sincere deep love from it. I want you to have it. Me? A witch past the spring of youth? I don't care about that. You're a witch and I'm an artist. <laughs> we're a couple of misfits. Wouldn't you say we're a perfect match? Cece, I want to protect you. Please, let me do just that. Cece, no one has ever called me that before. Cece, listen! I've got great news! You're in high spirits? What is it? <laughs> Who wouldn't be? The manor's owner recognized the value of my art! He's going to become my patron! That was lucky. He was a little shocked when I told him about the atelier, but I'm free to continue using it. Finally, someone appreciates your work. Congratulations, Bisto. I have your constant support to thank. I'll invite the Marquis here one day. The Marquis? Despite the smile on his face, Cecilia doesn't miss the tears forming in Bisto's eyes. Of course, Bisto. Here, wipe your tears away. You sense the witch has ordered you home. Time to head back and report to the witch. Ordered me back? Why? Also, I want to see if there is actually another scene awaiting me. I mean, there's not one up here. I imagine it's going to be in here. It's like, everywhere else has these arrows. Like, I, I don't think we'll be doing anything there. So I imagine it's in the room there. So it is very much a case of like, yeah, there's nowhere else to go right now, is there? From the looks of it. Hmm. Anyway, let's head on back. 
Although we do have a little bit of a stockpile, so let's get that stockpile. Doors of destiny. And just do normal attacks. Right. Go. Go. Wonder if there's anything I can use from my previous donums. Maybe I can strip those donums of anything interesting. Not donums, yeah, let's strip the donums from the packs that I could use on the blank pack that I've got now. Could do that while we're jumping out of the um, labyrinth. Have a look at least, you know. Meow. The righteous are victorious. Would be nice to get my coven levels up as well, you know. I was getting that. We might get a few levels up. Uh, did I like blast through it. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. That's it. Same again. Meow, 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 meow. Right. Let's um see here. Not disassembly. Yeah, disassembly, disassembly. So it threw me off because it has the background there rather than the kitchen. Or a place with a pot, you know. Threw, threw me off, threw me off. Um, where am I looking? Where am I looking? Donum list. Fighter pact? No. Apprentice? Moon attack? Could get mad moonlight. May as well. May as well just get those. Hmm. So if you have a look at my remaining cost, the top right is like, hmm. So let me get those two. Okay, what else we got going on? Gossip packs. Nah, I mean that one will be the same. Pretty much. Might be worth just waiting and trying to level up some of the others. Yeah, I know it's very valuable. Hmm. Yeah, might, might, might be worth leveling up some of the other packs to try and bring over some of their skills. Like, can I... Uh, yeah, I will just want to see what's on it. That's all I want to do, game. So we have a look here. Nebula counter. Is there any, like, super rock crusher? What's, what's this? What's this? Just these these skills I want to see about that. A blunt attack shockwave. It may yeah, maybe worth leveling up these. Just so I can get them. Wind blade, like it's grand wind blade. Festive rock crusher, grand spear, abyssal rondo. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I mean there I've got Flame Dance, Mud Fling, and Lamp Fog 3. At the moment I'm using two. So it could be a very good idea to get that. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter right now putting stuff on the blank packed, because I'm not going to use that in the end. I'm going to be looking at getting um, stuff like that. I need to get you back, don't I, thinking about it, Barlin? I'm going to be using stuff like this, where it's like it's three and five. I want three and fives, three and fives. But leveling stuff up to have the donum skills available would be a good idea, though would be a good idea. Because eventually these guys, I'd want them to have the biggest donum skills. So I've got to see where, where and when I can get them. Right now, that one seems to be the place to get them. Fog of Flesh. What's Fog of Flesh? You see Sacrifice. Oh my. Probably won't want that. Probably won't want that. Yeah, getting these would be a good idea. Would be a good idea. Um, but let's see about getting Balin back with a witch petition. Uh, where are you? Bring them back. Ba -ba Boom. Balin has returned. Is there anything I want to get here while I've got chance? What was that post battle recovery? Is there anything? I mean, that'll help me out, I guess. 
This makes it easy when I found the hideout. Anything else? I don't really need more puppet storage. Don't really want to get a treasure. Right, we're fine. Right, let's report to the witch. I see you finally returned. Two whole days have gone by since you set off on your quest, Lantern Day Phantasmagory. Two? I must wake Nachiru before she grows too weak. Apologies for summoning you back. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. <sighs> mm. Oh. Welcome back, Fanti. Alright. Alrighty then. Why don't we do Fanti's auto-report thing? It'll basically tell us what happened, yeah? I thought Yuru could see everything through her prophecies. I'm assuming that's not how that works, but okay. Hm. You think it's some sort of almighty power? That's the most pea-brained logic I've ever heard. Excuse me? Why am I being insulted right now? Come on, hurry along and get to writing. I saw everything that happened underground, so let me tell you about it instead. Wow, really? That's impressive. Is that how Fanti's power works? Or is it because Yuru is here with you now? That does seem a bit different. I don't know. I'm unsure, but it seems like I've felt this before. Seeing what happened in the labyrinth. I feel like someone was able to do that. Mm. Oh, yeah, what's Perico up to? She must be exhausted. She's sleeping in Yuru's room right now. It's rather rare to find a Manania that feels tired, especially when it still has mana. I see. Hey, do you have any food? There's some preserved stuff you can have. Doesn't taste too good, though. Preserved food? I thought the two of you would be living the high life and feasting all the time. Well, it's sort of due to our conservation mindset. I know I've got nothing to worry about with Yuru here, but it's just to be safe, you know? It's not like we have a lot of provisions anyway, hence why we'd prefer to avoid a prolonged fight. Right. Nachiru explains all that happened underground. All of it? Oh dear. I see. So, the memories of your childhood and the memories of the witch named Cecilia. Yeah. A witch with memories of Aluna. Cecilia, is it? Who exactly is she? Indeed. Let's see about um, dispatching out again then. Yep. No, it would be right up there. Look, right up there. So, let's head for floor 36. Hmm, let's head down here. Let's fog veil up. And there we go. Huh? A black cat? You don't usually come around here often. Meow. Meow. Yes, indeed, meow. Are you hungry? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Give me one sec. Meow. Here you go. This is all I have. But it's better than starving, right? Meow! Oh, is that cat growing fond of you? I started seeing it around recently, but figured it was feral since it wouldn't eat what I gave it. Oh, hi. Oh. <coughs> uh, are you okay? Yeah. Same old me. Ah, that's right. There's a magical cosmetic surgeon not too far away. Would you like me to give you their information? Huh? Oh, don't get me wrong. 
I mean for Miss Colbert. You have no need, given how beautiful you are. Dude. Oh. Plastic surgery. I've recommended it to her before. It's apparently not very expensive. I hear everyone's doing it these days. I doubt my mom will since she hates magic. Really? I'm certain she'd find more work if she just changed her mind about that. Idiot. She hates magic because insensitive jerks like you recommend plastic surgery and stuff. I don't think it's that simple. There's, there's got to be more going on with that magic issue. Got to be. But, seeing as we're done on this set of fixed floors, and we will obviously, as you can see, be heading over to the next set of fixed floors, we'll end this part here. In the next part, we'll carry on over here on this floor. I'd say what floor it is, but I can't remember. So we'll see you in the next part anyway. Ta-da for now.